Hi friends and welcome. Today I'm going to share with you a scripts which allow us to open a session between the target and the hacker over the internet using only free resources. These scripts are based on the socket and it's built using Java language. In this video, I show you just the experimental part and if you want an explanation video of the source code just write into me below the video important tools needed to release this attack note i'm not responsible for any bad use of this scripts first you need gre java runtime environment because these scripts are written using java language second creating a free account on jrock to make this attack over the internet and third winrar tool to create a suffix file to hide the malicious code we suppose the hacker has kali linux operating system and the target has windows operating system in the hacker side we launch java server file and in the target side we launch java file client so let's do these things we will find this scripts below the video so first you need to create ngrock account type ngrock in google and create free account so this is the main page so download Angirok. For me, I download Linux. You can download for Windows. This is for Windows. In this case, I use the Linux as a hacker side and the Windows as a target side. In the target side, we don't need these tools. So what we can do with Angirok? Angirok allows you to expose a web server running on your local machine to the internet just tell ngrock what port your web server is listening on so don't worry we will try to make everything simple this is the repository just download this script so this is the content of the file here we have hacker side and pileout target side we need this file in the kali linux and this file for the target side so let's launch kali linux i use raspberry pi and i install kali linux in my raspberry pi don't worry the same thing for virtual machine i use vnc remote desktop So this is the file. So here we need this file, hacker side. But first we need to launch ngrock. I close this and I launch it again to show you the right way. After you download ngrock and unzip it, so this is the result. Here we need command shell I log in as an administrator so to launch angerock type this command angerock and here we need tcp because we need to transfer the data over the tcp protocol and jrock here tcp and i write a port number i choose 8080 type enter so forwarding i use this data i show you step by step don't worry So 
So this is the pilot. We need this and the source code in this file. So I copy this and I try to hide it over the sets of images. I name it image. And I try to create a suffix file. Advanced option a suffix setup. So here launch after extraction. So we launch this command image.jar. And here we need a TCP as an input. So this is the first input and the port is the second input. So I copy this. As the first input and the second input port number. Thirteen, seven, three, six. So here, let's choose an icon to hide this file. I have this icon, and here I write HD images, and here full HD images. Let's create So I give this file into hacker So let's launch socket server in the Kali Linux Hacker side here, open terminal here. To launch socket server, type this command Java. Why hacker? So here we need local port. So the local port, as I write in Angerok, eighty eighty. Waiting the target. So let's run this file. Double click and install. So let's see to see the result. As we see, the session opens between the hacker and the target. So let's recuperate public IP. I type one. So this is the public IP of the target. Let's get info about operating system. So as we see here, Windows 10, architecture 64, architecture AMD, and the username. As we see here, let's get data about all interfaces network. So as we see here, cart Ethernet, and this is physic address, and I have VMware, as we see here I install VMware, so let's check from this data, as we see here Ethernet VMware 1 and VMnet 8, VM1,
and VM8 get all list process I type 4 so in the background I launch Java and VNC viewer as we see here VNC viewer and Chrome as we see here this is Chrome task list so this is the command which executed by the pileout to recuperate or to send this result into hacker side process ID and the name the last session and utilization from the RAM to display the properties of the computer so I type 5 to get all properties of the computer so as we see here name the computer operating system version system the user and here fabrication system so all the data about the properties of the operating system and the computer as we see here ethernet card and we type sex to close the session you can develop this script and you can add more functionalities like to take a screenshot for the target you can upload files into target side to extend the exploitation i wish this video will be helpful for you and we will meet in the next video